Hello, I'm Shanara Pires, the customer educator at Render Island Studio. Welcome to our channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use free private GitLab repository for your Unity projects. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. First, open Google and search for Git. Open the Git website and download the Git Bash software from here. It is important to have when using version control platforms like GitHub and GitLab, so you should download and install this. Afterwards, go back to Google and search for GitLab. I have already created an account on this platform and you can see the projects I have created on it. You too can make an account here easily. After making an account, you can start a new project by clicking New Project here and selecting Create Blank Project. I will name my new project as my Unity project here. You can leave the visibility level as private here or change it to public if necessary. As we need a README to be generated within the repository, I have ticked this checkbox. You can then click Create Project. You can then see that the project has been created. This is the repository for my project. You can also see the README that was created. I will also be adding a git ignore file. A git ignore file is used to prevent unnecessary files from being committed into our projects. Click the arrow next to the plus mark and select the new file from the drop down list. Select dot git ignore from here and select unity as the platform from the apply a template drop down list. You can then see everything that you need here. Afterwards, scroll down and click Commit Changes. You will then see that the git ignore file that we created has been added to the repository. When I go back from here and show you the repository, you can now see that the git ignore file we created has been added. I will be using Visual Studio Code to commit and push between Unity and GitLab. I'm sure you all know of Visual Studio Code. It is a very powerful ID used by programmers everywhere. I am now going to clone the repository that we created into my PC. I can either click the clone git repository here or go to source control here and click clone repository. You can then paste the URL of the repository here. I can find the URL of the repository by going to clone here and copying the link in the clone with HTTPS section. I will then come back to Visual Studio Code and paste it here. They are now asking me for a location to save the repository. So I am going to select the location that I have saved my Unity project in and clicking select repository location. You will then be able to see a pop-up saying cloning git repository. Once it is done, I will click open here. After opening it, I can see the files in the place that the repository has been opened. I can see the name of the folder here as my Unity project. I will now go back to Unity and click create new project. I will be creating a 3D project and provide the folder path as the same location that the repository was cloned. I will click Select Folder here. I will rename it to Test Project here and click Create Project. The project has now been created. I will come back to Visual Studio Code. You will now see that the test project has been added within my Unity project. All the folders that are relevant to it, including the assets folder, have been added here. As we have added the git ignore here, 
folders such as library and temp that do not need to be pushed can be seen in gray, which means that their contents will not be pushed into our repository. Afterwards, I will go back to source control. We can see everything that can be committed to our project here. Folders such as logs and user settings are not needed, so we can add them to the git ignore file. You can copy it from here and paste it within the git ignore file. You can now see that logs and user settings are also grey, which means we do not need to commit them. We can come back to source control and send everything to our repository. I will click the plus mark in front of changes and send them to stage changes. I will then type commit1 as a commit message here and click commit. The files that were here have now been committed. We now have to upload them to our repository. We click the three dots here and click push from the drop down list. You can see it loading here. After the loading has finished, you will be able to see that the project has been uploaded into the repository. We can now go back to our repository and refresh it. When we click test project, we can see the assets, packages and project settings here. You can even see the sample scene within the scenes folder. We can then go back to Unity and create a new folder named Scripts and create a C-sharp script named Player within it. I am not going to make any changes within the script. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. You can now see the new folder and player script here. You can easily compare them and stage any new changes as well by clicking the plus mark again. I will add commit2 here as a message and click commit. I will then click the three dots once more and click push. We can go back to the repository again and see the scripts folder is visible inside the assets folder. You can also see the player.cs script here along with its contents. Let's go back to Unity and make a change within the scene. I'm going to add a cube here as a 3D object. I will duplicate it twice and move them. I will select Ctrl S and save this scene. After going back to Visual Studio Code and going to Source Control, you will be able to see this set. You can see that there has been a change in the sample scene. I will click to add it to the stage changes, add commit 3 as a commit message and click commit. I will push these changes once more. When you refresh this page, you will be able to see commit 3 at sample scene, which has been updated just now. You can add your projects to a repository this way and work on them with others using Unity and GitLab. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you very much for watching.